Yo, what's going on, people? It's Deltray. We're back with some more Fire Emblem 9 Maniac Mode playthrough. So, on the last part, we did Chapter 19, took out a level 5 Edge Master, and got to face off against one of the three fabled Laguz Kings, Nesala, in particular. Pretty powerful foe, but we managed to get rid of him without actually having to come to blows. I still think that I could have killed him with Marcia. Unfortunately, <laughs> I, s I just realized I saved over my Chapter 19 save, so I couldn't go back and do it. I was going to originally, but alas, it's just not meant to be. Let's just go on into chapter 20, I think. I uh, hope everybody's doing pretty good. Hope everybody had a nice, safe 4th of July. I don't want to be reading about any of you guys in the paper, alright. Let's see where we got here. The Kingdom of Dayan lies on the northernmost edge of Tellius. Its coastline is bathed in the icy currents of the northern sea, and the frigid winds howl inland with terrible ferocity. As a result, day and winters are raw and brutal. Ice and snow scour the land, leaving frozen scars in their wake. Hardcore, man. Through these blizzards, General Ike and the Crimean army press ever forward. Pegneon's Imperial Senate may have lent Crimea troops, but even they doubt that the army could successfully fight off day and Haters! Bunch of haters, man. How many battles have we fought with day and You'd think by now we would have earned some kind of trust, you know? It's just... It's disappointing. It's somehow, Ike and company will defy all odds and capture victory after victory. Embracing both Princess Alencia's dream of a liberated Crimea and Deltry's dream to not choke. <coughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Embracing both Princess Alencia's dream of a liberated Crimea and the tragic history of his parents, Ike marches in grim silence. Well, that's not very inspiring. Chapter 20, Defending Telrega. Hmm. I don't remember which one this is off the top of my head. Ah, this means only one thing. The enemy knows exactly how we are going to move. Hey, Nasir, have anything to say about that? No, not me, man. I'm just chilling. Hmm. With your permission, I'll begin to invest. I'll begin an investigation to see if there's anyone suspicious amongst our troops. <laughs> Nasir. Ike? Ike, are you alright? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Sorry, what is it? Nothing. I was just giving you the standard update. Shall I put it off till later? No, sorry, but can you start over from the beginning? I'll pay attention this time. That's right, he did just learn about the tragic truth of his uh, mother's death. I'd be a little distracted, too. Understandably so. I understood. Good morning, you two. What's wrong, Ike? You look so sleepy. I've had a lot on my mind. I meant to sleep last night, but I was up thinking. Before I knew it, it was morning. Really? I never thought I'd hear that. Ike didn't sleep because he was thinking. I wonder if Soren will start being polite. <laughs> Titania is so savage. <laughs> Listen, Titania, can I just... <sighs> oh, but that was such a good burn, though. <laughs> but brother, Ike! What's wrong, miss? What am I gonna do, Ike? My medallion's gone. What? It's gone? Oh, shit. <laughs> No, Titania knows. She knows, clearly. What am I going to do? It was my only memento of mother. <laughs> Did you drop it? Or put it somewhere and forget? Something like that? No, I always carry it with me. I would never lose it. I had it before I went to bed last night. It vanished while I was sleeping. <laughs> D don't cry, please. We don't have enough time for this, mist. It's not your fault. But, but... I said don't cry. I'll find it. All right? All right. Nah. Even the short is kind of shady here. Uh, are you serious? Shaharim, you are to begin immediately. Yet that's General Patrine. If we do this thing, day in will suffer. It's for the good of the country. Besides, it's only one territory. Stop mewling like an old woman. I hear you, and yet... If the goal is merely to stop the Crimean army, then this is not necessary. The strength of my troops will suffice to... The last idiot who told me that ended up on a corpse pile. Now listen to me and listen well. No matter how passionate you are when you tell me you'll defeat Crimea, I'll never pin my hopes on a bunch of foreigners. All you have to do is stop their forward progress, that's all. My plan will accomplish this. General Patrine, do you truly think so little of us? It's true that we were born in Begnyan and not Dayan, but my men and I have been loyal to this country for 18 years. We have spared no effort to learn all the proper manners and customs of this land. But now, after all that, to be dismissed as a bunch of foreigners. 
No one asked how long you've lived here. Want to know why? Because no one cares. Certainly not me. Where were you born? Huh? Where were you raised? <laughs> this country doesn't need squatters like you. The only people Dayan can count on in times of crisis are Dayans themselves. And there goes my computer. Ugh. Everyone else is just gutter leavings. So we're useless. Is that what you're saying? You tell me, migrant. Why is it that your unit, which was trained to be an elite royal guard, is here patrolling this hick-infested backwater? The answer's clear to me. How about you? I... I... Oh, I'm sorry. Am I offending you? Well, here's your chance to show your worth. Halt Crimea's advance. If you are as skilled as you claim, you should be able to limit the damage to its bare minimum, should you not? Ugh. Hmm. Angry is a good look for you. I look forward to seeing the results of your work. Get going, Outlander. What up? God damn, Petri. <laughs> Savages they come. To General Sihara, must we truly go through with this? It's such a horrific act. It's only recently that the citizens hereabouts have even come to trust us. We have no choice but to obey. It's as the woman says. The only thing we can do is ensure the Crimean army is defeated as soon as possible. General! Open the floodgates. Do it now! Open the floodgates? Huh? Hmm. Aye, right, just a bit more. Would you mind hearing my report on our last battle? Hey, it's something different. Uh, sure, go ahead, please. Very well. We earned so. Look at that money! That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. They just gave us 74 grand. They just gave us 74 grand. I understand that we came across like a day in stockpile of cash or whatever, or like a treasury, or whatever you want to call it, but good god! That's so much money! <laughs> That's so much money! I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all that. I could. Wow. That's <laughs> that's too much, man. MVP to Tanya this time. Interesting. Oh no, I guess she was holding it down while Marcia had to kill the boss. That makes sense, I guess. Apparently, <laughs> uh, Omasa has conversations with Zehark and Stefan, which I wish I would have brought them because I could just, uh, <laughs> I could just picture it in my head right now. Just all the edge. You'd need safety goggles just to look at that shit. Too sharp, man. Everyone from party seating the wild. That is all with your leave. I'll excuse myself. Da -da 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 -da. These pre-battle sections are becoming a lot shorter. Interestingly enough. I'm sure that'll change eventually. No, not skills. EXPs. Oh, so this is such a hard choice because... I have a few different things I could do. Maybe... I mean, I could put Brahm up to promotion, or just about ready to promote. That might be a good idea, actually. But there are other people who want it. I could do it to Kieran, and that would probably be the quote-unquote best choice, but that's a pretty boring choice, in my opinion. I have so many horses as it is. Uh, Makalob might as well get a level. I mean, it's nine points. Do. I'll bet he can still be useful. I don't know how, but he has Kanto, so automatically he's at least sort of good. Strength, skill, luck, no speed, which is interesting because he has the uh, Night Ward. Alas, only so much you can do. I think I'm just gonna bring Brahm up to speed. Nope. Where you at, bud? There we go. Oh, I'm struggling. Let's do it. It's being big old daddy Brahm up to level 20, and then I can easily get him one le more level in the chapter itself. HP, speed, luck. Eh. Speed is good, though, because if I can prevent him from being doubled by some of these enemies, it's not likely, but it's certainly possible. Strength and defense is what I'm looking for. There we go. There we go. A few more of those. Oh, no, he's only going to be at level 19. Well, that's quite disappointing. That's very disappointing. Still a worthwhile endeavor. Yeah, 20 defense. Not bad. He has absolute maximum defense right now. Beautiful, beautiful. I still have a little bit of EXP left over. Should I... Missed, I guess? Possibly Boyd, even. 
I wonder if Zyari can double some of the enemies on the next map, that would be good. I don't know that he'll be able to. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. I guess it's going to be missed. I guess it's going to be missed. Let's do it. I guess she's going to be promoting the old-fashioned way. That's a good level up. That's a pretty good level up indeed. What else do we got? We have supports? Not really. Uh, Oscar and Kieran can do B rank, which I guess they should do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oscar! Hi, Kieran. Still hanging in there, huh? I can't take it anymore. Come back! Rejoin the proud brotherhood of the Crimean Knights! Well, this is sudden. As a former Crimean Knight, surely you have some sense of loyalty. What say you? Rejoin for king and country! The homeland is in danger. Any who used to be Crimean Knight should come rushing to her aid. You do have a point, and I'm glad I'm able to help rebuild the homeland, even if it's just as a mercenary. I'm not here to make you glad, I'm here to convince you to be a knight again. You're not fulfilling your allegiance to sweet Crimea by being a mercenary. How can you sleep at night? I, I love Crimea, but I'm happy here. I want to serve Ike as a member of the Grail Mercenaries. Forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. This is taking a weird turn, Oscar. Darn, why? What draws you to guys what draws you guys to such a life? What could make the mercenary life so appealing that you would sell your loyalty to our glorious homeland Crimea? Aha! Could it be the nice fat salary? That's it. I remember you saying that you needed money. Ho oh, ho, loose lips sink ships. If I wanted money I would have stayed with the Crimean Knights. I only get about half that now. What in the Wake up, man! Can't you see you're being duped? Honor, fortune, glory, it can be yours. I doubt it. <laughs> I say, you're hopeless! Who's hopeless? Yeah, seriously. Big words there, Kieran. Kieran's crazy. He's actually insane. Uh, I think that's the only one. It's the only one I'm interested in. Info. Let's speak to woman. Ah, uh, yes, this lady. How did she get all the way over here? Wasn't she in Big Yacht? Hmm. I never really noticed that. You who, you there, young man. I have business with the general of this army. Would you convey a message? Uh, who are you? Who am I? What kind of lowborn greeting is that? My name is Kaylil, and I am a first-class mage. And what would a first-class mage want with this army? What's your problem? You look as if you don't believe me. Hmm. Well, I suppose I can't hold that against you. It's not often you find beauty like this coupled with intelligence like mine. I am amazing. But it's true nonetheless. A mage, huh? Well, I guess you can never have too many mages lying around. Oh, and as a bonus, I'm quite skilled with a knife as well. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's roll it back a little bit, Kalo. Beauty, brains, and brawn. <sighs> the goddess has sent... The goddess has seen fit to put the abilities of three people into one delectable package. Sounds like favoritism, doesn't it? Um, hello? Are you listening to me? There's a beautiful woman talking. Yeah, the point is that you want to join the Crimean army, right? <clears throat> well, how much are you planning to charge? Well, aren't you the little businessman? Hmm, let's see. How does free sound? Suspicious. What's the catch? Ooh, I like Ike. <laughs> I like my fees to be based on performance. Watch how I do in combat and make me an offer. Depending on what it is, I'll decide whether or not to grace you with my assistance. You're not lacking for confidence, are you? Of course not. I already told you. I am a first-class mage. What does that mean? Is there actually any point to not hire Kilo? I don't think there is, so let's do it. Alright, you're in. What? Are you allowed to make decisions like that on your own? Perhaps I should speak to the general. I am the general. What? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now we get Kilo. And I am under strict obligation to use Kilo. My balls are on the line, man. Word for word, Kilo or no balls, so let's do it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one better. Let's kill some things with her knife. Because you can see she has eight strength. So let's let, let's do one better. If I don't use Kalil, if I have no balls, that means if I don't get a kill with knife, I'm not even a man. So there's that. Let's do it. So she is really, really good, actually. What are her gross? Hold on. Okay, Kalil. Good bases. Uh, good weapon ranks. Comes with Niles, so that's pretty good. Even though I don't really foresee a lot of enemies with super powerful skills, but if that were to happen, it would be a nice skill to have, I suppose. For her gross. 
do 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 uh 50 hp 25 strength 45 magic 45 skill 45 speed 30 luck 40 deep 40 defense well she only has eight base size of those and uh 35 resistance yeah pretty solid growth pretty solid gross and those bases don't really leave a whole lot to be desired she's by far the fastest mage that we have available considering that with her eight strength she's actually not weighed down that much by pretty much every single weapon every single tome yeah the elf thunder only weighs six obviously siege tomes weigh a little bit more but unlike soren she has a realistic chance of doubling with one look at uh 11 11 weights yeah she only loses three speeds so she actually has a shot of doubling people with a meteor and El or not elf thunder but bolting and such and she also comes with the b rank in every single weapon every single anima weapon i guess the only downside to Kalil is that, for whatever reason, she thought the knives would be a more valuable asset than stabs. She was wrong. But, alas, I guess she would have been too good if she would have come with stabs. That's probably the logic, right? Because if she had stabs, then there would literally not be any reason to train anybody else. And that's, you know, that doesn't really sit right with me, I guess. Very good unit, though. Probably still the best mage in terms of just raw combat ability. Uh, there was one more support. Racing. Racing, huh? Okay, I'll bite. Racing, could you come down here for a moment? What do you need? I've got something I want to ask you about. If I can help, I will. Your... Your ancestors. Forget it. It's nothing. What? Is something wrong? I apologize. Please let it go. It seems like something important has happened, but if you do not want to discuss it, that is your right. However, if this weren't a battlefield, your secret might not be safe. Please take care in the future. What do you mean? We have the Heron Clan. If we choose to, we can read the thoughts of others. Seriously? However, this power is only available to us in a calm and peaceful environment. Here in this desperate maelstrom of chaotic energy, it avails me not. Energy here is warped and distorted. You know, now that you mention it, Raisin, are you feeling sick? You're so pale that it's hard to tell, but I think your face looks more wan, more wan, more wan, wan? I assume. More wan than usual. That sounds more accurate. Paid no mind. I'm fine. I always look like this like, oh, my bad. You've got nothing to prove. Why don't you stay off the battlefield for a while? Oh, shoot. No. <sighs> I hit B on accident. Is, where's the... How do I... There's a dialogue log, right? Can I not do that? Because... No! Man, that's so lame. I apologize. I can't even access the... The log. That sucks. Who should I give the night ring to? I can give it to really anybody. Should I give it to Braum just for hilarity? I don't know if that's necessary. Well, if I am trying to level him up, it's not necessarily a bad choice. I guess we'll see when I start the battle. I'd really like to bring Zehark up some more. <clears throat> I'm running out of names for these things. Oh, what should this one be? I guess gold. Let's make the golden axe. And give it to Titania. Seems good to me. Uh, is there anything else I really want to do? You know, I think next time I'm going to make some kind of magical spell. Because I just got 70,000 gold for just playing the game, so why not? Lastrid's bow is looking pretty bummy. Uh, I don't know. I'll think about it. Yeah, I guess we're good. I think we're good. Oh, this is a new track. This is a new track for sure. My lord Ike, were you able to find the medallion? No, it's gone. I fear the Dayan may have somehow stolen it. Does Alincia know? I don't think she does, right? What? Is such a thing possible? I don't know what. I don't know to what degree, but there's no questioning Dayan's involvement. Is the medallion special? Yes. Oh my, yes. You have no idea, Lincia. I beg your pardon. What is it? My question may have touched a sensitive area. Oh no, it's not that I don't want to discuss it with you personally. I just can't. I just can't really... <laughs> I just can't really talk about it to anyone. It's a private matter. Ah, I see. Ike. What is it, Ulki? I hear the sound of rushing water just ahead. A lot of it. Rushing water? According to the map, there's a large river up ahead. That must be what you hear. 
This is unnatural. Warped. It is not the sound of a normal river. General Ike, sir, we've got trouble. The road ahead's blocked by water. What? How can that be? Perhaps the local river is flooded. The whole region is soaking wet. Is the road completely impassable? No, sir, we can move forward, but the water's turned the ground to mud. And the water is still flowing at a tremendous rate, sir. This is going to cut back our speed dramatically. This is the work of day end. They thought to impede our progress in order to gain some time for themselves. And they succeeded. Blast, is there nothing we can do? Well, if they were able to flood the road only when we approach, there must be floodgates in the area. So if we can close them, we'll shut off the flow of water, right? That makes sense. Let's get some scouts looking for the gates. What's that? Hey, if you're looking for something, leave it to me. I am the Hawk King's eyes after all. Thank you, Jennif. What do you mean? These peepers of mine can see for miles and miles. They're quite handy. It'd be a shame not to use them, these peepers of mine. <laughs> Is that some Lagoo's power? You're a hawk with the eyes of a hog? Who would have thought? I know, crazy. <laughs> God damn it. It beats your fantastic wit. My sight isn't a racial ability, it's just my own natural talent. Jeez. Heck, my pal Oki has ears that can hear grass growing on the other side of the country. I see. No, you don't see Jen of I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was bad. Well then, the job's yours. Do you think you can find the floodgates? I just look for some openings with a lot of water pouring out, right? Yeah, I can handle that. Get it in, Jennifer. Mm, that's a fair amount of units. Oh, now I remember this map. Now I remember this map. So we're bringing Jill. The Caribbean army is here. All troops, combat formations, hit them fast and hard. What is all this fast and hard action going on lately? What was this game rated again? Uh, we can't let this battle drag out. Sorry, I'm like eight. I'm, I'm about eight, roughly. So those are the floodgates. If we can get them closed, the water will recede in about 12 hours or so. How do you know that? Alright, let's get going. I hate how it starts me zoomed in every time. It makes it so hard to see the... Okay. Let's see, steel lance, steel bow. Steel lance and a short spear, of course. Steel lance, steel lance. Mend. This guy has, like, max resistance. I guess, sure, why not? Why would you go after a priest with with magic anyways? So it doesn't look like this should, in theory, slow me down at all. I guess we're off the beaten path, so we're not actually affected by that muddy terrain or whatever. Hmm. Max level wyvern riders. Yeah, these guys are getting pretty scary. Ah, uh, Brahm is just a little bit too slow. This guy is fine, though. If he got, like, two more points of speed, if I could promote him somehow. If I could promote him somehow, I think he would be fine, because then he wouldn't be getting doubled by everything. He might even be able to start doubling some of the slower enemies as well. Hmm, Sage is with Elwyn. Is there anything special other than that? Wait, did he have... No. I see a Swordmaster down there as well. Okay, here we go. Here's a guy with a Siege Dome. Is that it? Bulganon. High level fire magic. It's very difficult to master. Only... I feel like they made magic a little bit too weak. They really... Because only 9 power for an A-rank spell. And realistically, Khalil's the only person that's ever going to get there. So it's like... Mm, I don't know. I don't know at all. This guy's a bolting. Well, well, well. Thought I didn't see you there, did ya? Can I make him not use the bolting? I was thinking if I could do that. There goes my controller, by the way. I was thinking if I could make them not use the siege tomes, I could steal them, which would be awesome. Because Khalil can use all of the siege tomes just by default, you know? But I can't do that. And I don't think disarm is a thing in this game, so even, even if I could somehow get them to switch, it wouldn't really matter. And here we have our boss, Shaharim. Name sounds familiar somehow. Let's see, he has a tomahawk that we're gonna get. Well designed acts of great power. It can be thrown at distant enemies. He has a full guard, but that doesn't really matter because bows are really bad in this game. Although I guess, in theory, somebody like Astrid might be able to do some damage with a forge bow. So I, I suppose. He also has an elixir. So that can be pretty annoying if you don't finish him in one round. 
surprised none of these uh, sages have physic or anything like that, though. It seems like that would be more devious. Okay, so who are we bringing? I want to bring Zihark, just because I haven't brought him in, like, forever. Racing, you're out. Gotta bring Braum. We're gonna level him up. Hopefully promote him. Makalov, I, I hate Makalov. I don't see him. I don't see <laughs> I just don't see it. Uh, Mist, obviously, need the healing. Jill as well. That flight utility. Astrid would be good here. But Astrid would be good always. And she has Paragon, so she can catch up with ease. Gonna bring Zihark, because he hasn't done anything in a long time. Mm. Sorin, I don't... I mean, Sorin's good and all, but let's use Kill Il for a little bit. Even though she's just strictly a better version of Sorin for me at this point. I'd like to bring Stefan, honestly. Is there any way I can make that happen? I could drop Boyd, but I don't really want to do that. Because Boyd's getting up there. I could drop Kieran, I guess. I'll drop Kieran. Let's bring Stefan. He hasn't really done a whole lot, honestly. Alright, let's give this a go, I think. I I think I'm going to lose. <laughs> mm, Jill doesn't seem too happy. Are you alright? You look rather pale. Um, General, I, to be honest, I, I know, the enemy general is your father, isn't he? How did you know? I overheard you talking to that man with the eye patch. I see. If you're having second thoughts, it's not too late. Do you want me to switch you out with someone else? No, Ike, it literally is too late. I already hit start, begin battle. It can't be done anymore. No, I'll be fine. At least, I think I will. You don't have to be in the vanguard. Just keep that in mind. Thank you. Not a hell with that. Full speed ahead. No, I'm not going to do this. This is such a bad move. <laughs> such a bad move. That would be the worst move. Because this guy would just take her life immediately. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. I probably want his range on, though, just so that I don't... So that I don't accidentally goof with that. Uh, kill the sniper, because I sort of have to. Ba -la -da -la -da. <sighs> I really don't appreciate starting out surrounded like this. I kind of wish there was a little bit more freedom of movement, you know? It just, I feel kind of restricted, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit claustrophobic with some of these enemy placements, because like, look. Turn on the enemy ranges real quick. Right away, I can't really, I can't afford to... <sighs> How should I put it? Right off the bat, I have to kill so many enemies, otherwise I just immediately risk somebody dying. That's not... I don't want to say it's bad, necessarily. But it's certainly frustrating, at the very least. Most definitely. Let's have Ike do this. <sighs> His low skill is definitely coming back to bite me in the ass. What is it, 13? No, it's 15 now, so he's trying, I guess. But he should probably have around 20. He should probably have around 20-ish. And he does not, so it's it's very noticeable, to say the least. I also can't kill this friggin' sniper. Which really sucks. I did not order myself well. I've just realized. Mm, oh well, nothing I can do about that now. So let's turn off the ranges. Really, I'm just watching out for that guy right now. Don't I have... No, I guess I don't. Titani deletes somebody. Should it be the helper deer? I, can she even kill this guy? She can't. He has 51 hit points. Good lord. Well, let's kill the helper deer, I guess. Just because, you know... Gotta clear these suckers out sooner rather than later. I'd really like to get crits here. I do love soul, don't get me wrong. I love me some soul, but uh, please, just crit them. Save on my Oscar usage. Move like that. Ah. Eh. Missing this guy kind of sucked, because I could have killed him far more easily. 
Nothing I can do, though. Can this guy move through trees, or, like, what's the deal? Well, yeah, I can... No, 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 no. I gave her the night ring, so I'm gonna do this, and then I'm going to move away from danger. Crit, please. Yes. Thank you so much, Khalil. Thank you so much. Best mage, indeed. Yup. It's decided. And she even gets experience, believe it or not. 20 whole points. Now. This unit is going to die to Marcia. But she's all, they're also going to break my forge, which sucks. In fact, she might not be strong enough, honestly. No, she's not. But she leaves everything crippled, which is good enough. It's good enough. Uh, this guy, I could go at him with Oscar. I probably should. But I want to stay out of range of these guys. In the long run, just because Titani is going to be a much better... Uh, how should I put it? She'll be a better choice to aggro them. By virtue of being a much stronger character. And another crit. There we go, Oscar. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping for some cheese. Nice cheese. Fortunately, even though I'm at weapon triangle disadvantage, they're not really going to be too accurate. Gotta love that Earth Earth support, man. I definitely have to block off Galil. <laughs> Oops. Well, let's think. So, this guy cannot... Oh, no, he can. He can. So we'll do like this. Moves the heart right about here. I can move. I, 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 why would I want to do that, though? Why would I want to do that? Hmm, I kind of want Miss closer to the front. Just to not burn through physics and whatnot. And I also have to think about that house up there. But, you know, I think with Titania, or not Titania, but Marcia crippling each and every one of them, it should be okay. I can't double these guys with Jill. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Well. Hmm. Boyd takes two? Question mark? Yeah, Boyd takes two. I could draw some of them this way. That would probably be... Preferred? Does Boyd take two? Hold on. He has ten defense. Yeah, he takes two, so let's do that. We'll draw them this way with Boyd. Which will allow some of my weaker units to pick them off on the next turn. Which is good. Jill's just gonna hang tight for a second. Uh, she can maybe kill this guy. She can maybe kill that guy. Jill's gonna hang tight, though, because she has the benefit of flight, so it doesn't really matter. I can fly her right over the mountain with ease. Haven't really mentioned this, but you only have 15 turns to beat this map, if I am understanding this correctly. General, how long are the floodgates to remain open? Until the Crimean army has been defeated. Sir, if we wait that long, of the neighboring farmland will be drowned. The locals are already quite upset. They may not abide this much further. General. Enough, soldier. Ugh, you got time to be bellyaching? Take your butt out to the battlefield and kill some Crimean soldiers. Captain Hart, do you support this action? This is inhumane. Lives will be ruined. Dayan citizens will die. Even if we claim it is necessary to achieve victory, th this is too much. This is Dayan's way. Are you ready to disobey the king and be put to the death for your troubles? I would rather die than kill innocent Dayan civilians. If you're executed as a traitor to the throne, your parents and siblings will also pay. Are you prepared? Yeah. And now do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Go. Fight bravely. Yes, sir. Ah. To gain the trust of the king, we've become cruel and heartless. First hunting and executing the Lagoos, and now flooding the lands of these people call home. General Shaharim, if someone hears you use the word Lagoos in this country, you'll be branded a traitor. Mm, you're right as always. To live in this land where Lagoos prejudice is so virulent. We've had to seal away everything we know and teach our children to hate all subhumans. All that just to survive here. It's Ashnard's fault this country has become what it is today. Ah, what a terrible miscalculation we made. Even so, I... I hated the idea of furthering the corruption of the Imperial Senate. I will continue to support your reasons for leaving Begnion. 
I wonder if Jill has distanced herself from the Crimean forces. I did give her warning. Above all else, I would like to avoid meeting my daughter in combat. I pray that she does not take to the field this day. Knowing her temperament, talking to you would only increase both of your sorrows. I have but one favor to ask of you. Say it and it will be done. Do not fight today. What? Only one side can win a battle. If we are defeated in the end, I want you to care for the survivors and their families. Yes, sir, Commander Shaharim. Commander, it's been many a long year since you last called me that. May the fortunes of war be with you. I like how these guys were entirely foreshadowed, by the way. Who was it? It was, uh... Sigrun. She mentioned a fearsome group of, like, wyvern knights. They were originally part of the Begnion forces. That would be these guys. That would be these guys. Harz and Shaharim and their unit. So that's interesting. I never really noticed that. I didn't catch that on the first playthrough. The first few playthroughs, you know. But yeah, that's definitely... Definitely where that was going with that. It's been an honor to serve you, General. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Har. See you in the next game where you're apparently busted. So now the sniper's gonna do his thing. Oh no, I left the animations on. Oh, shit. Man, there really, really needed to be a way to do like you can do in the DS games. Where if you, if you hold down a button, you can just skip the animations. Or hell, just let me skip the phase entirely. Because nobody's gonna die here. Straight up, nobody's gonna die here. And all these enemies are just gonna attack me at two range, so it's like, I'm not even getting to retaliate or anything. They're just failing over and over and over. And you'd think after a while this would be so discouraging that they wouldn't even bother, but no! No! They're gonna do what they can to annoy me and piss me off, but at least the heart gets to do things. Of course he gets hit. Come on, man. That's not how you make your grand re-entrance. The hell was that? <sighs> oh well. So no Marcia is gonna kill about six units. Adept, 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 adept. Yes. Goodbye. You're done. Ah, there we go. I forgot she had the chance to do that. I forgot. Entirely, in fact. So maybe we do clear out some of these guys, which would be preferred. Oh yes, please, come at me. Please, just make my day. One, two, goodbye, it's been fun. So the Paladin's down, that's great, because the Paladins in this game tend to be a little bit uh, insane in terms of their overall bulk. Now the Wyvern Riders are coming in, and here comes the Blizzard or the Bolting. It doesn't really matter which, because Marcia is just going to kill him on the next turn. This is arrived, so I don't have to use Ike. It can be literally any unit. But... Hmm. I think we're gonna treat this as a pseudo route and kill everything. Just cause it'll be easier to show things off that way. Oscar, by the way, you're not supposed to be taking those hits. I swear you are the biggest disappointment. Alright, this guy could have been scary if he had a killing edge. But he doesn't, so we're good. Hmm, I would have really liked to see a hit there. Would have really liked to see a hit there. Only so much you can do, being that I'm using an axe, I suppose. This guy's gonna attack me with this comically large night killer. No adept. Marcio, where are you at today? Where are you at today? <sighs> if it wasn't clear as to why I don't usually have animations on, uh, particularly for enemy phase, this right here is why. Here's all my health back though, so there's that. I might even get a level up. That'd be pretty cool. Nope. It's gonna take one more of these chumps before I get a level up. It's gonna happen right now though, so it's all good. This is another one of those chapters where it seems they really just throw everything at you right out the gate. And it's... Uh, it's pretty eh. It feels like a stat check, honestly. Hit point, strength, skill, magic. Magic? Wait, hold up. Hold the phone. Yeah, there goes my axe. But as I was saying, it feels more like a stat check than anything because it really just comes down to if I one round KO these guys or not. If I do great, the chapter proceeds at a good pace. If not, well, everything slows down. So it's like... Mm, it's pretty sketch. It's pretty sketch. The one saving grace is that realistically, 
I'd only have to deal with that in the in the sense that I need to be strong enough to kill the boss or to at least survive long enough up near the boss to take him out in one or two rounds here's another soul but it's just like killing all these other units is it's, it's painful man it's painful because look at that now I can't really move again because there's so many paladins that I have to be able to take on and there was no way I could get enough units over to the southeast that would survive goodbye this is why I had Boyd draw in these few halberdiers. Because he had a good chance of doing some work here. Which is good, because again, I need to clear them out. Because there's just simply only so many units that you have available. I was hoping for another one. <laughs> Sorry. Only so many units you have available that can actually survive that many... Wow. Wow. I'm speechless. Sorry, what was I saying? Yeah, there's only so many units you have that can survive uh, combat for an extended period of time like that. Titania is one of them because she has soul. Marcia is another one because she's a goddess. And that's really about it because they, the enemies in this game tend to come as a group of like six or more, I would say. is probably about average. Which really limits the way that you can actually play the game. At least on Maniac, but I don't know about lower difficulties. Lower difficulties, not so bad, from what I can remember. But here, I, I'm almost sort of forced to use Marcia and Detania to clear out as many as I can, because if I don't, I'm not going to be able to clear out a sufficient amount of enemies such that my weak units can survive. And it just kind of, it kind of snowballs. It kind of snowballs. I have to use Marcia and Titania to kill everything, so therefore they become the strongest, therefore they're able to kill more things more easily, therefore I have to continue to use them, and it's it's cyclic. It's cyclic. And it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying with so many characters that I would like to use. Not to say that they're the only ones doing anything, but they're doing mostly everything. And Marcia has max speed, finally. I wonder if she'll hit max strength. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. And that's also not to say that I'm not enjoying this game, because I very much am. I'm very much enjoying this game, but there's just like... There's some small things. You know what I mean? There's some small things. And I'm not one to sugarcoat that, really. I think what would have made it better is if enemies were not so bulky. If enemies were not so bulky, I wouldn't necessarily have to be strictly shoehorned into using my strongest fighters. And you can see even right now, like, Zihar very underleveled, still being useful here. Still getting kills and shit. But... There's only so much frontlining he can do, you know what I mean? Because then if I if I move him to the frontline, I'm relying, I'm relying entirely on his evasion, and I don't really like to do that. Generally. How does Braum fare? He doesn't get doubled by these guys. Okay, actually, he does alright now. Yeah, he actually does pretty decently now that I've taken down these halberdiers. They could double him, whereas everyone else cannot. So this seems like a decent enough choice. It doesn't really matter how long it takes Brom to kill these guys. It just matters that he's not going to die. So there we go. One kill close to promotion. I don't know if he'll get to this battle, but I can definitely bump him up with bonus experience after this. Boyd's kind of in a similar spot. He really might be able to get there. I do not know. I do not know, but it's certainly possible. How... how? I really don't want to leave Boyd exposed too much, though. It's another thing to consider. Because he, he's really not bulky at all. By any stretch of the imagination. Start by... Yeah, I'll just use the Iron Blade. Screw it. Get you a kill, like Get you a kill, like That's how we do it. Ike is so cool, he doesn't even look at his enemy after he's killed them. I, <laughs> I feel like they were trying, in a sense, to capture, like, the GBA-style animations, but in 3D. No, I don't know if that really works. I, I don't know if that really works. I'm, I'm still kind of uh, undecided on that. Okay, how is this going to work? 
I guess, would be the bigger question. How is this going to work? I suppose... Marcia can bait these guys south now. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Okay, well... <sighs> She's just too good. That was unnecessary entirely, but it's still entertaining to me. So the bigger issue is, of course, this Wyvern Lord, but I can sort of stall them, in a sense. Hmm, and I'm also just going to... Yeah, I'm gonna forgo killing this guy for one more turn. I'll use Jill and Boyd to sort of form a shield for Miss. Unless Jill wants to crit, that'd be cool. I don't think she did, no. But I can just form a shield for Mist, and then she'll survive. And most likely this guy's going to attack Boyd, so that's fine as well. There we go. Now if I'm just... Just gotta be mindful of some of these guys over here. I'm kinda sketch and relying on... No, this looks like such a bad situation, actually. I won't lie. Ooh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> this does not look good. I may have messed up. Not really so much may have messed up. I, I certainly have messed up. Oh, yes, I have certainly messed up. Oh, I missed a 78. That's really unfortunate. You don't really like to see that happen. Well, I kind of have to do this. And hopefully hit. Oh, no, excuse me. I wasn't using... I wasn't using this. I was using a regular Steel Axe. So that's why I missed. Fair enough. Probably should have killed the Swordmaster if I was good. Food for thought. Now, I can kill him now. But... That leaves... Oh, no. This maybe works out. I, I don't see it, though. I think I'm goofed. Yeah, I guess Khalil mercs the Swordmaster. Hopefully. It's my best bet. Yeah, there we go. And now we have a chance of surviving. Yeah, now we actually have a shot. I forgot she has the, the ring. <laughs> oh, man. But now I can just take the vulnerary. Do I want an axe? I think I want an axe just for weapon triangle. And then I will park Oscar in front of this. What is this? A fence? Some kind of fence. Yeah, I'll park him there. So now these guys are sort of restricted. Not this guy, of course, but it's the best we can really do on such short notice. And then Zahark, not Zahark, Stefan can blow this guy back. And we should be safe. But I also forgot to turn the animations off again. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one. So many enemies. Not an inherently bad thing, I guess, but... What do you think? You can hit me for effective damage? I guess they don't see the full guard. That's the only thing that makes sense. But that's great news for me. Because that really, really limits my chance of death here. This guy's a hand axe. He probably shouldn't hit me. But he does. Come on, Oscar. Come on, Oscar. You're busting my balls here. You're busting my balls, man. <sighs> well, he shouldn't die. He shouldn't die. He'd have to get hit by both the Paladin as well as the Wyvern Knight, which is not a likely outcome. And not only that, but he would also have to not get soul. <gasps> oh, thank God, he doesn't double me. Oh, Jesus Christ, I have fucked up. Oh, I have fucked up. Oh, my God, I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> oh, God damn it. 